Yasin. Okay, awesome. Uh, thank you so much, Media, for joining this afternoon. We are now officially live and recording for the fans tuning in on, on the LA Sparks Twitter. Welcome. Um, the Sparks organization is ecstatic uh, to welcome Arella Garantes to our organization, uh, the number 22 pick in the 2021 WNBA draft. We're going to go right into questions from Media. We'll start with Rash Rashawn Haylock with KTLA. Hey, Rella, congratulations. Uh, welcome to LA. Um, Coach Fisher said you had lottery talent. What's it like to hear that from a five-time champ as he describes your game? Um, first, thank you for welcoming me to LA. It's a beautiful place, nice warm weather, and I'm excited to be there. Um, uh, just speaking on Coach Fish and uh, just his uh, his background, you know, he's nothing short from a legend. And um, I'm just appreciative that he um, acknowledges, you know, my talent and he sees me uh, as a player who can really have a great impact. Thank you, Rashawn. We'll go over to Rachel Galligan with Windsider. Hi, Arella. Congratulations. I know it's probably been quite a whirlwind for you these last few weeks. Can you kind of take us through that a little bit? I mean, your your run with Rutgers was cut a little bit short, but what have the last three weeks or so been like for you from the draft process? Um, I would say these last three weeks have just been eye-opening for me. Um, it's been a great process. Um, and it showed me um, that you really have to work to get where you, you want to be. Um, so the journey is nothing that I'm used, um, not used to. Uh, working hard is something I've always done all my life. So this is just another stepping stone um, in the process. Thanks, Rachel. We'll go to Brady Klopper with SB Nation. Hey, Rella, welcome to Los Angeles. Um, I think, you know, I think I speak for most people on this call when I say that uh, we were pretty surprised to see you available at, at number 22 in the draft. I think, you know, in, in most mock drafts, you were seen as kind of a consensus top five player in this draft. I'm wondering if with that fall yesterday, is it just business as usual for you going into training camp or is, is there an extra level of motivation that you feel you're carrying with you now to prove to the rest of the teams in the league that they really missed something by passing over you? I think um, if I didn't need any more motivation going into um, this new journey, um, that was it. Um, I think they poked the bear and, um, you know, I'm excited. I've never ran away from a challenge. Um, I think it just adds more to the story. So whoever has the pen, just keep writing. Thanks, Brady. Go to Kahari Jones Jr. with the LA Sentinel. Hey, what's going on, Norella? Uh, I like that quote. Whoever just have the pants, just keep writing. You know, um, how are? Can you just elaborate on, on just your your thoughts on this draft class? You you know, it was reports out saying that this wasn't a tough draft class, but I think you guys are just proving and showing that this is a strong draft class. Um, can you just elaborate and just be a part of this this new era of women's basketball? Um. I'm so grateful to be part of this new era because you can see just how the transformation of women's basketball is just evolving and people are tuning in and just acknowledging that women's basketball players are just as important as men, if not, um, and they're just as good in some cases. So uh, I'm just excited to be a part of the movement. Um, and I think this draft class is definitely part of a shift. Um, so some people may not see um, the, the worth of this draft class yet, um, but I think overall um, during later on in the years, they, they're gonna start seeing how important this draft class was. Go to Pepper Persley with the next. 
Hi, Arella. Pepper Percy with the next. Congrats on getting drafted. Um, I'm sure playing in the WNBA has been a goal of yours for a long time. And there are so many young girls like me who dream of being drafted into the WNBA. What advice do you have for all those girls who are working on their game with those big dreams? Hi, Pepper. Thank you. Um, my advice would just be to um, really don't let anybody put any limitations on you um, and continue to dream big. You have to follow the course. Um, and there's going to be some tough days. There's going to be times where it's disappointing um, or people are going to disappoint you. But at the end of the day, um, do what you love and love what you do. Thank you so much, Pepper. We'll go over to John W. Davis with Windsider. When everything was happening last night, was there a mantra or a phrase or something that got you through last night to where you are today and something that, you know, there's just something that somebody has told you or you've learned over time that you can take and carry through training camp and beyond? Um, I would... I would say there's two. Um, one is I never needed politics. Um, that's been that's been with me since I was in high school, and I was, in my in my opinion, killing almost everybody who was ranked above me, and I, I stuck with that. I didn't need the politics. I never needed the recognition. So, um, in my opinion, why would that change now? Um, it's got me where I've been so far and, uh, and most, most people, um, from my, my town, they're, they're ecstatic. My family's still proud of me. Um, and my town's proud of me and th that's all I can really ask for. Um, the second quote I would have to say is just, there's no traffic in the extra mile. And, um, a lot of people will stop, um, after the first and I'm someone who's going to keep running regardless. So that got me through last night. And I think it's going to, it's going to apply to every factor in my life. And I know that I'm just, it's just part of the journey. Thank you so much, John. We'll go over to Megan Hines. Hi, Arella. I just want to know, um, what are some things you really want to expand your game on? I know you are a versatile player, but what else do you want to work on um, heading into training camp in the season? I would say just um, continue to impact the game and other aspects. Um, just being a real force on defense and um, the offensive end, learning to score more without the ball in my hands, moving off cuts. And um, I love setting screens and, and getting people involved. I think a lot of people seen that this year that I really do have the ability and great core vision. So I just wanna keep emphasizing that because more so a lot of people see me as a scorer, but I really love being a playmaker also. I'm Michelle Vopel with ESPN. Yeah, Arella, I was wondering if you could sort of say whether, you know, some of the success that former Rutgers players have had is inspiring to you, obviously, including Benajah being the, um, you know, most improved player last year. Uh, having all of you gone through, you know, Coach Stringer's system, do you look at some of the success they've had um, and see that translating into things that you can do at the at the WNBA level? Absolutely. Um... I think those lineage of Rutgers players, um, they've been inspi inspiring me since I stepped on Rutgers campus. And um, I know those those women, they, they've they had their own special past. Benaj has had her special path. Erica, obviously going undrafted to being a WNBA All-Star MVP. Um, and now Benaj is most improved. Um, that just goes to show that, you know, we're tough. And that inspires me to not um, break that status quo of Rutgers players um, for being CVIV tough. Thanks, Michelle. We'll go to Matt Ellen Tuck with the New York Times. 
Pyrella, uh, we talked last week uh, right before the draft uh, about you being a lottery talent. What do you think GMs missed on uh, last night passing over you? Um, you know, that's just something that uh, you might have to ask those uh, GMs. Uh, but, you know, I, I know my worth. I think the Sparks, they definitely, um, they know my worth. And I'm excited. It, like I said, um, it's not about where you start. It's about where you finish. So I'm excited to get started. Thank you. Thanks, Pepper. Did you have one more question? See your hand still up. Hi, yeah, I was just wondering, can you describe your offense in like three words? Um, yeah. I would have to say um, I'm a killer, killer first, um, playmaker, and I would say just a, um, creative. I find different ways to score, um, and I kind of move at my own beat, so. Well, on that note, I think that's a great note to end on. Um, thank you so much, media, for joining today. We'll send out a recording to this link. Thanks to everyone tuning in live on Twitter. Um, again, thanks, Sorella, for your time this afternoon. And we will all talk very soon. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thank you.